Today we are implanting three timber rattlesnakes with transmitters with the purpose of finding the undocumented dens. Knowing where these dens exist helps DEP when we are developing conservation management strategies for the species, but also under regulatory reviews, we can help guide construction activities to minimize harm to this species. In this case, we are working in partnership with the Woodlands Wildlife Refuge. It's a nonprofit organization that has partnered with Fish and Wildlife on a variety of species. They are our primary rehabber for venomous snakes. Once everything is done, we allow the snake to recover. We keep an eye on them until they are moving around, making sure that they are breathing on their own. And then the snakes can be released really the next day, but we'll probably give these snakes a few days to recover. And as with all of our snakes, we release them in close proximity to their capture locations to ensure they are within their home range and in familiar habitat and territory. These timber rattlesnakes will be tracked using radio telemetry so that we can keep an eye on them throughout the season to make sure they are healthy and uninjured. And the main objective for this study is to locate their dens that we have not identified.